one. Hey friends, welcome to our January teen craft where we are going to make this adorable little cactus. It is a little yarn pom-pom cactus. I'm so happy to see you here. So you, um, I hope you had very happy holidays um, over the month of December. There are so many that people celebrate. I hope that you had a happy new year and you are continuing to have a happy new year. Um, I'm very happy to be in the world of 2021. It is like anything's possible. Anything's possible in 2021. So thanks for showing up and being here to make our cactus because January is brought to you by the letter C because we are making a teen yarn pom-pom cactus and we also have a very cool catapult that shoots pom-poms that's very cool that posted today as well so I am gonna help you make this little guy we also have instruction sheets uh, our kits are available right now and, and, and well supplies last. So come on in and pick one up. When you pick up your kit, what you'll find is you've got a little pot. You're gonna have a bunch of brown yarn, a bunch of green yarn, and a little red pom-pom. And I've already made the brown pom-pom, but I'm gonna show you really quick so that you understand the size difference. The brown one is supposed to be approximately three inches across, like if you were gonna measure this. So what you wanna do is, you don't really have to measure. This isn't science, remember, it's fun. So what I did was, I used my four fingers like this, and that is what made this, okay? And then you're going to wrap it around, one, two, three, four, five, you're gonna wrap it around that 50 times, okay? And when you come to the end of wrapping, you're gonna have a bit of string left and you're gonna cut it off so that you can make the pom-pom. So, I've already got the brown one made for you. Here's your brown pom-pom. I'm gonna make the green pom-pom right now so you can sort of see how to do it. Now this one is gonna be two inches across. So for me, that means about three of my fingers, okay? So then I'm gonna go around 50 times as well. So you're going around 50 times with the brown and 50 times with the green. So one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right? And the more spread out it is, obviously the more, the less, difference you're gonna have in the size of the pom-pom, the strands, right? 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. We only have 10 more to go. And then we should have a green pom-pom. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Now, we've got about this much string left. You're gonna cut it off, well, if your scissors work, you're gonna cut it off right at the bottom like that. Now you wanna make sure that you don't wrap it around your hand too tight, because if you do, what's gonna happen is when you take it off, it's not gonna stay like this, right? So don't wrap it too tight, you're gonna to have to rewrap. So you're gonna take your green string, and this one's a little harder than the bigger one. And you're gonna set it on your piece of green string and then you're gonna tie it right in the middle and until you tie it tight you can kind of mess with it and jiggle it around see like that I want it to be a little more that way and you're gonna tie it really tight you don't want to break the yarn but you're gonna want it pretty tight so that it'll stay together when you're trying to cut your pom-pom fronds pom-pom fronds I don't know if that's exactly what they're called. That is actually a plant term, 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 term. Okay, so that's what we have after we have tied it. And this is exactly what the brown one looked like. Once you've got it tied like that, you wanna leave these strings. I'm gonna show you why in a second. You're just gonna cut right through your loops like this. You're gonna 
cut all of, all the loops. And there you start to see, oh look, that does look a little bit like a pom-pom, doesn't it? You don't want to pull too tight when you're cutting your loops because you don't want to pull it through from the other side. And no matter how hard you tied your knot, you could always pull one of the pieces through. So I think I got most of that side. Now I'm gonna do this side. And again, we're just cutting through the loops, cutting through the loops, cutting through the loops. It's nice if you have really sharp scissors. But even dull ones actually do the job. Okay. So then, you're just gonna kind of pull it out and you know, we'll see, maybe you got a loop you missed and you're just gonna pull it out to make your pom-pom, right? So the nice thing about this particular craft is that they don't have to be perfectly round because you're actually gonna change them into something that isn't round. So you've got your green cactus pom-pom and your brown soil pom-pom you're going to take your soil pom-pom, you're just going to shove it right into your pot. Now, if you want to make it more permanent, you obviously can put some glue around the bottom and the sides. Uh, tacky glue probably would work really great. The Elmer's glue seemed to work for my pom-pom, but I didn't use glue any place else except for my little red pom-pom. You are welcome to do that. If you've got a hot glue gun, that probably would work the best. So, at any rate, I'm gonna put my soil in there and I'm gonna keep my um, two long ones out. Now, if you like it like this, it can look any way you want it to, right? It can, it can look any way you want it to. So, if you like it like this, you're all set. You can put your cactus on. If you'd like it to be a little more, you know, trim, then you can just sit and cut it if you want to, like that. So that it, it's a little more um, uniform if you want it to be. I didn't do any of that with my brown one. I just kind of stuck it in there. So once you've got the soil the way that you want it, you've got these two strings. You can cut one of them off. You don't need both. And you've got the string for your cactus, right? And what you're gonna do once you have everything looking the way you want it to, is you're gonna take this green string and the brown string and you're gonna tie them together. I would suggest before you actually put your cactus on is that you, you do any trimming you wanna do to your cactus before you tie it on. Now I just use this as the bottom where I have my long strings because that's actually gonna go on top so it doesn't even need to really be pom pom -y, right? And then what I did is I just cut and cut and cut. So the more you cut, the more it's gonna to start to look like a cohesive pom-pom ball. So I'm not gonna do it right now because it took me, I got a little bit obsessed with it. So it took me a while to do it, especially when the scissors aren't great. But you can cut and cut and cut any way you want. Um, the picture that we used for the, uh, um, flyer they actually figured she figured out how to make this a little more oval shaped mine is really kind of just a ball and I left a little bit off to the side like it had grown a little thing on the side um, and I'm not great with scissors so if you are a good scissorer you probably are gonna be fine um, and, and make a really cool looking cactus so once you get your cactus looking the way that you want it to, the right size, the right shape, then you're gonna cut another long one, like we did with the brown one. And you're gonna take these two, and you're gonna, gonna go just like this. You're gonna tie it like so. And then I tied mine again. And then you just cut it like that. And there you go. You've got your cactus in your pot. And uh, like I said, I preferred to cut it when it was not attached, but certainly you could still do this. I mean, 
while it's attached to the pot if you wanted to do some changes. The last step is super simple. You just take your little flower, your little pom-pom flower, you put a little teeny tiny bit of Elmer's glue on it, and then stick it wherever you want. Um, and then I just basically left mine alone for a bit so that Elmer's glue would take hold. Um, but yeah, so with not a lot of landscaping, that is what your cactus will look like. If you want to cut a lot of it off, you can do that. But it's pretty cute either way. So I hope you enjoy making your cactus. It is, I think, really cute and pretty easy. So obviously you could do all sorts of things with the um, wrapping the pom-poms like that. Um, all sorts of different kinds of crafts. Um, you don't even have to buy the pom-poms, which is nice. So um, thanks for coming today. Again, Happy New Year. I'm so glad we're in the year of 2021. I hope you're healthy and happy and safe. Uh, please join us the end of the week on Thursdays and Fridays at 1030. We always have a story time. If you're a teen and you like picture books, you can come. If you're an adult, you can come too. Or if you know any smaller children that would like to come, we do a toddler story time on Thursday, which is a little bit shorter books. And then on Fridays, we do a little bit longer picture books for our preschool story time. Uh, we also have uh, two new crafts coming up in February. And just keep checking our Facebook and our website. We recently updated our team website page and it looks so good. Miss Erica did an amazing job of um, populating it. And we've got lots of resources, more to come. It's a work in progress, but uh, yeah, come and visit us on our Facebook page or at our, at our website, which is hackleylibrary.org. And you can go to the team page. It's got new arrivals. It's got resources. It's got a link to our YouTube where other crafts are that we've been doing since we came back in June. And um, yeah, I'm just really happy to see you. Oh yeah, also we have a new Michigan Library Quest that started January 1st. It is a like Carmen San Diego mystery mashup, uh, which is really fun. Over 120 libraries all over the state of Michigan are participating. If you go to our team page, you can find the link to get to it to start the quest. So yeah, do that too. Thanks again for being here. Happy New Year. Um, hope to see you at the library. We are open 10 to 2, Monday through Saturday. And um, that is for 15 minutes of browsing or to pick up holds. So uh, yeah, you're always welcome to call and have us pick things out for you too and bring them to your car. You don't even have to get out of your car. Don't have to mess with the snow, mess with the mess. So yeah, we still have curbside and we are more than happy to run things out to you. So anyway, happy new year. Thanks for coming friends. See you next time.